All right, moving on to week two. So, um, there's, <laughs> I will struggle with knowing which games to mention. I'll, I'll blow through a few of these. We probably won't talk about all of them. Friday night, we have Louisville at U- UCF. Could be a fun game. Okay. Saturday, um, maybe sneaky fun. Wake Forest at Vanderbilt. <laughs> okay. No one's going to watch like it, it, but just, just scoreboard watching is what I'm going for here. I South like Carolina at Arkansas. Maybe this is the first one we actually want to talk about. What, what, do you have any thoughts on the first two I mentioned or South Carolina, Arkansas? I'm pretty sure you have some thoughts on that one. Yeah, just South Carolina, Arkansas. I think it's really interesting. The line there is Arkansas favored by eight and a half at home. Mm-hmm. This feels like a bit of an overreaction. I'll be honest. I think South Carolina might keep this closer. That's For me, that's the side. South Carolina covering is the side. I, I'm not sure if I'm confident enough to make it one of my locks. I will let you know when that time comes. Um, but definitely one to keep an eye on. I think South Carolina is a, they're going to sneak in a little under the radar. Mm-hmm. And I think it's going to be, I think it's, I think it'll be close. I really do. I think this game will be close, probably one possession. Um, not sure. Not, I think Arkansas will win, but I think South Carolina could easily cover that. I, I do think this is the type of game where we're, we're going to learn something about South Carolina. I feel like we have yes. a pretty good handle on who Arkansas is. Right. There's a lot of varying opinion on what South Carolina is this year. We're going to find out a little bit. Agreement. All right. Uh, the Kind of the big Fox game at noon, Alabama at Texas. Yes. Um, <laughs> any reason to think Texas can keep it reasonably close? No. No. <laughs> not, not really. Like, the, the line Alabama is favored by 20. I'll be honest, I'm actually like not going to even touch this game. I'm just going to leave this one alone. Okay. But like I don't see Texas keeping this close. I I really don't. <laughs> I think I think there's a much better chance that that the wheels fall off the bus for Quinn Ewers and and Saban is dials up a few things to make a freshman quarterback really struggle. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's done that before. So yeah, I, I don't think this is like Trevor Lawrence by any stretch of the imagination that, that Texas has. So I think I think this could be interesting. I guess he's not a freshman. He's a sophomore now because he's, yeah. I, yeah. So he technically has experience, but not really. This is going to be his first big time um, start. We, we sure. can say that. Um, yeah, I Alabama's the side, right? Am I wrong? Alabama has to be the play here. I'll, I'll talk about it later. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kansas State and Missouri. Kansas State is a seven and a half to eight point favorite here. We've talked to him about this game in the offseason a little bit. I, I think we had a little bit of a show bet even on it, maybe. So I don't know if you yeah. it's more just for bragging rights than any more than anything else. Yeah. I'm not taking a side here for any of my locks. I do think that Kansas State will beat Missouri. The yeah. line feels roughly right to me. I one of the reasons I wouldn't take it is just because it's just over a touchdown. So any thoughts on this game? No, not not really. I think Missouri's uh, true freshman receiver, Luther Burden, yeah, has the potential to be the real deal. You're like, right. We we said that there's like there could be a lot riding on this guy, and he has to be great. I think he is great. I think this guy is a stud. Um, that's he he could he could be, yeah. I'm I'm not gonna go again. Just leave leave it alone. It's Missouri, Kansas State. We don't need to get in the weeds on it. But keep an eye out for the name Luther Burden. That guy is. Um, he's a potential star. Sure. Okay. Tennessee is at Pitt. This last yes. year was a Pittsburgh win at Tennessee, I believe. And Pittsburgh is now a six and a half to seven point underdog hosting Tennessee here. Um, does that feel about right to you? What do you think about this game? <laughs> yeah. I, Pittsburgh's the side here i think okay. i think there's a little bit of an overreaction there i think i think pitts decide to cover I, you can still get it at seven i believe um i would be taking pittsburgh in the in the touchdown um versus tennessee i i don't think tennessee does well as a favorite i really don't mm-hmm. i don't i don't really in in my experiences at least um they don't do well as a favorite i, I this game i think there there there's points out there for these teams tennessee can score points i think pitt they scored 38 against west virginia we talked about them Keen Slovis actually looked really good against West Virginia. He wasn't bad at all. So we have good quarterback play. I, yeah, I'm, I will be betting on this game. Um, I would be on the Pittsburgh side. Okay. App State is at Texas A&M this week. A&M a 19-point favorite, which probably sounds about right. 
I will I will say it's interesting just because, as we know, A and M struggles on offense, and App State just put up sixty one points. Mm-hmm. Any any thoughts? Like any any chance <laughs> here for just like a like one of the, one of those classic wouldn't it be funny if type of games? Like, is there any chance? <laughs> It could so easily happen. Like A <laughs> and M could so easily lose to App State. Yeah, I, I, I really hope for like for Appalachian State that they don't carry last week's loss into this because they, yeah, like, they sh- they should have won the game last week, and and didn't. They're they're good. They can score points. Yeah, A and M has a terrific defense, but A and M struggles on offense. Still, that offense is difficult to watch. So yeah, it, it could easily happen. I'm I'm staying away from this game completely. Yeah. Do not bet on this game. Just do yourself a favor. You want no part of either one of these teams. Just watch last week. If you have any questions, just go watch the highlights from last week. You want no part of betting this game. Yes, I agree. I I think if I was a degenerate gambler, you know, I'd probably put a put a plug out there for for App State plus nineteen. Yeah. I don't I don't oh, like yeah. that it's just under three touchdowns. Like. If it was plus 21 and a half, go ahead. Sure. <laughs> if you could find that. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect there. Let's move on. Uh, rivalry game, Iowa State at Iowa. Yes. Iowa is a three and a half point favorite here. I I would, generally speaking, I would say this is a great rivalry game to completely stay away from betting wise. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? I, I agree with you. But I, I am going to attempt this. Oh, right. I have not made money betting against Iowa, but I will be trying again this week in week two. Iowa State is the side. We're going with the Cyclones. Um, yeah, I, there, it's three and a half. Like, yeah. against that offense? Are you kidding? Yeah. Like, yes. We feel, I feel, I feel like, I, I really do. I think Iowa State can pro- probably win this game outright. It wouldn't surprise me at all after that performance, that Iowa State would be favored. It feels like the wrong team is favored here. I totally agree with you. The one thing that just gives me a little bit of pause is just the fact that Iowa always beats Iowa State. And it, and always. I know. It's always weird, and, and you never know how, how it happened. It's inexplicable, but they just find a way. So In the most Iowa way possible. Yeah. I'm, I'm probably just going to stay away from it personally. <laughs> Yeah, I don't we'll, blame we'll, you. we'll get to the locks at the end. Maybe I'll change my mind. We'll see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Houston at Texas Tech. This this game is actually kind of sneaky, interesting. Texas Tech is a three point favorite. Any, this is probably not the type of game where we're going to actually be watching, but I'll I'll probably be a little bit scoreboard watching. Sure. Do you feel like we can learn something about these teams from this from this game here? I'd like to say yes, but not really. Like we don't know what Texas Tech is yet. And like, we're not really sure of what Houston is yet. Like both of like, yeah. So you're, this is a game where you take the score at the end of the game, you take the winner and, and four or five weeks later, you come back and compare. I I think that that's where you need to be. Um, Cause like, it's, it's so unknown. Like, like we, we don't know, like I could tell you that like, Oh, like this team or this team, the truth is I don't know much about either one of these teams. I don't have a strong feel um, for either one. Yeah, that's that's probably the right way to look at it. I, I do think it is an interesting game, but who knows what that means. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Going into the evening slate a little bit. Uh, Kansas at West Virginia. I I do think there's maybe just a bit of a chance. Of, there's a bit of a letdown for West Virginia, and maybe this is one of Kansas's chances to get a win in conference. I don't know. I'm not, I have no other thoughts on that, on this game other than that. So just putting it out there. Doubtful. Doubtful. Yeah. I'm with you on the doubtful. Um, Kentucky at Florida. So this is a big game, obviously rivalry. Florida is a five to five and a half point favorite. Yes. Um, what, what do you think? I mean, because we did see Florida beat Utah and look impressive doing it. Yeah. Now they're hosting SEC Utah, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Isn't that yes. kind of kind of accurate? Exactly. That's exactly mm-hmm. it. This is going to be the game to watch of the week. If you could watch one game, forget about Alabama, Texas. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about Baylor and BYU. 
worry about Florida, Kentucky, because the winner of this game is going to be a probably a top 10 team or at, or at least really close to a top 10 team and have all the momentum in the SEC East. They will become yeah. the number two team um, in the SEC East next to Georgia. They're going to get a lot of push, and they will be a major player towards the end. We saw this last year when Kentucky beat Florida, and it, and it vaulted them to a really good year. I'm, I think this will be the same thing. This It's going to be close. All Kentucky-Florida games are close. They just are. I don't make the rules. Those are just the rules. Um, I think it'll be – I yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be entertaining. It's going to be in Florida again, back-to-back, huge night games, national TV. We get to watch Anthony Richardson versus um, – uh, um, Levis yep. for Kentucky. I think it's going to be a good quarterback battle. Yeah, this is the game to watch for me. Yeah, I, I had no disagreement there. I think as an excellent game. And part of it is just because it's it's some of the clash of styles and it's a rivalry. And it's one of those where you could kind of see just about anything happen. Yeah, that's right. Okay. USC is at Stanford. USC a nine point favorite in this game. Also, I believe you could maybe find, oh, no, I think it's nine points. Um, Sanford has always kind of had USC's number, but it feels like USC is just so much better than them this year. Like, well, uh, how do you think about a game like this? Like, do you think about the teams like on paper and, and like what we know should happen or how much of the Stanford is freaky when they play USC? Like how much of that do you let bleed into your thoughts? The only thing that concerns, like if I was a USC fan, the only thing that would really concern me is Tanner McKee, the quarterback for Stanford, is a legitimate ball player. Like, yeah. And your defense can be sketchy at times. You yeah. even gave up some yards to Rice. So Stanford can score points on you. Like they will be able to score points on you. How good is your offense? Like we, it was so good week one. Can it continue? Like, is it even close? Can, is it going to be even close that good week two? If it is, you have nothing to worry about, but you're going to have to outscore Stanford. Probably the good thing is you have all the tools to do. So you really do. You're fine on offense um, for USC. I'm not worried about the bad juju or karma or whatever you want to call it. I'm worried about that quarterback for Stanford just dicing us up. Nine is exceptionally low. Like that is <laughs> that is exceptionally low. Doesn't it scare so, you though? <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely it does. More on this in a bit. Okay, I like that. Um Arizona State. We've been on okay, well, I'll first say they go to Oklahoma State. Now we've been on Arizona State. We've been fading them all off season. Not, not me. I, I switched to go for a positive. I did. I did. Okay. I actually, I actually changed and said that they would go. I think over four and a half. <laughs> okay. Which, for for no real reason in particular. But yes. Oh yeah. You you were kind of like v- Vegas knows something or whatever, and so you went with that's it. right. Yeah. That's There's, right. So in week one, Arizona State did beat Northern Arizona forty to three. Big win. Big win. Sure. Oklahoma State looked good in week one. Any reason to think? Arizona State can hang, or is this where the the collapse starts? <laughs> yeah, it, this is probably where the collapse starts. <laughs> like, if we're just being really honest, <laughs> this is where the, just everything comes off the rails. Um, yeah, I it's kind of staying away from this game. Not really betting. I'm not really betting this one much. All right. Um, Boston College at Virginia Tech. Anything you can? Anything we can gain from this, or anything you're looking out for? Maybe betting wise. The loser is just in for utter disaster, pretty yeah. much. Um, yeah, the, the winner has at least given themselves like a like a like a life vest on, yeah. on a sinking ship, um, and the loser is without a life vest on a sinking sure. ship. So yeah. Now, I'm gonna mention this just because I know you like Michigan at home. Hawaii is at Michigan. Uh, Michigan favored by fifty or fifty-one. It's the JJ McCarthy game. Any chance they cover 50 points. <laughs> there's, a, there's a decent possibility. Um, yeah, it, I, it's everyone seems to at least have caught on that Michigan loves to put up points at home and smash like teams that aren't very good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 51 is just a massive number. Yeah, I'm not so going many. That high. Yeah. Not going that high. All right. A huge game in the evening. Um, this is a 10-15 Eastern game. And it, it feels like it's a disservice to the game because this should be this should be like the top game at the 330 window or something like that the Baylor at BYU game for a casual fan maybe you hear those names and you're not that excited these are these are two good teams this is a big game in my opinion B- 
BYU is a three and a half point favorite at home, which I guess means Vegas would see this basically as a toss up, which is kind of the way I view this game. Yeah. Um. Yeah, BYU and Baylor. Like, there's a chance one. Of, there's, it's not a huge chance, but there's a slight chance we could be talking about one of these teams potentially making the playoff come November. Two exceptionally well coached teams. Exceptionally. Yes. We talked about BYU and gave them some buzz kind of in in the offseason that their top four games are really, really tough. This is one of those tough games. You yes. have to beat a, a – a, it's national TV, number nine in the nation is coming to your place. Can you – yeah, how, like who are you? That's It's going to be kind of one of those games. And it's all out there in front for both of these teams. They have a chance – both of these teams have a chance to win a lot of games – be a sneaky playoff contender come October, November. And it's only going to be one of them, though. The loser takes a, a significant step back, but the winner gets vaulted very high. I agree with you. This No chance this game should be at 10-15. This, this, it should be 7-30. You could even talk to me about the 8 o'clock kickoff on ABC. It's not. 10-15 on ESPN, that's going to be tough for some of us East Coast people. We're going to be yeah. tough to watch. But it's going to be a really good football game. And there's, it's going to be really two really well-coached teams. Um, going to be trying to out competence each other um a little bit so yeah it'll, it'll be it's going to be close i really think that this will be a close football game okay oregon state goes to fresno state another good test for an oregon state team that's trying to like do serious things in the pac-12 this year only a one point favorite here against a good fresno state team and it's it's a road game obviously um what do you think like obviously Oregon State played Boise last week and and kind mm-hmm. of kind of dominated that game to a certain extent as much as you can by when you win by three three scores, right? Fresno State's it may be a different animal, um, and it is on the road. Like I don't know. Do you have thoughts on this game? I guess because a lot of people probably don't. I wonder if you have any thoughts on this game. Well, maybe I I'm not really as sure about Fresno anymore. Like the coach left. And and because yeah. last year last year they were really good. You're right. Like they Fresno should have beat Oregon last year. And yeah, like they're like we're still trying to figure out like who these teams are. So, so yeah. some teams you, you kind of have a good feel, and some you don't. So I, I'd like to say that I have definite like like a definite opinion on them, but like I'm really not sure. Like like mm-hmm. Kalen DeBoer leaves, and so you're not like it's all new. It's so new, and we're trying to figure out like what we're gonna yeah what what it is gonna look like with with the next staff. Sure. And then one final game. Um, the SEC going to the Pac-12, if I have yeah, that right. 11 o'clock. Yeah, at 11 yes, o'clock. that's right. Mississippi yeah. State at Arizona. Mississippi mm-hmm. State, a 10 and a half to 11 point favorite. Um, this is the type of game you watch if you're just up late and you want to watch football. Um, <laughs> but we might actually learn some things about both of these schools. We did see something from Arizona week one. Like they're, they're not a complete pushover anymore. Miss, Mississippi right. State should still beat them. Right. handily if they're as good as we think they are you think we can learn something from these teams yes yes i do i think arizona keeps this close this is a really really big feather in the cap for jed fish like sure. this is this is all the stuff for arizona mississippi state almost no win scenario if you don't blow them out like you guys didn't hammer arizona what are you doing but it's a road game it's going to be late like you're cross-country travel the whole thing um, yeah, Rogers looked really good week one. I will say that. So like, I think Mississippi state's going to be fine in this game. Um, but something to keep an eye on. And if you're like me, you're probably just going to wake up in the morning and try to watch the replay of it. <laughs> yes. 